In today's video, I'm going to show you in five minutes everything that you need to know about negotiations. Hundreds of books have been written on the topic, tons of seminars are attended every year, but in just five minutes, you're gonna understand how to approach all negotiations moving forward in your life. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Negotiations. It tends to be a topic that most people are uncomfortable about. When I bring up uh, the ability to negotiate, often clients and colleagues get a bit tight, right? Almost like deer in a headlight. They're worried that they're going to agree to something that they don't want to do, take the shorter end of the stick, or ending up with terms where they feel like they lost. This is a common set of preconceptions that people have about negotiations, but truthfully, most people, when you look at it objectively, are really good negotiators. The reason why they're good is because they spend a big chunk of every day negotiating with others. You negotiate with your kids what they're gonna take in their lunch. You might negotiate with them to wear a jacket to school. You negotiate with colleagues, clients, and prospects what time you're gonna meet. You negotiate with the place you're having lunch with if you're going to pay for the special that they're offering. Negotiation takes up a big part of our life, but a lot of people look at it as there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. This is the old model of negotiation and something that I'm gonna want you to throw out and move into the model that we practice. So let's get five minutes on the clock and we'll start to pound through the points that I want you to remember. As always, I'm gonna have a list of these points down in the description below, which you're free to copy and paste and use moving forward. Let's start with point number one. Negotiations in its simplest format is two or more parties coming together to come to an agreement on something. That's all it is. It is just a transaction where you have something that you want to sell, I have something that I want to buy. You want terms that you want to have happen, I decide if those terms are acceptable to me. Negotiation is just a conversation trying to find common ground. That's what I want you to think about when you're working towards it. Your kids want to go to bed at 9, you want them to go to bed at 8.30, you weigh the pros and cons. If you're in the power position and you need them to go to bed, it's 8.30. If you want to let them have a little win, it might be 9. If you want to find compromise, it's 8.45. It really is that simple, whether you're buying a house, a car, a business, negotiating a place to meet a friend for lunch, or getting those kids to brush their teeth. Point number Number two is that negotiation in the past was about winning and losing. There had to be a winner and there had to be a loser. That doesn't really work in the business world we're in anymore because the world has shrunk due to globalization and technology. If you screw over somebody, people are going to find out. If you get screwed over, you're likely to tell others. So it is in your and their best interest to find a negotiating process that works for both of you. So the main point I want to get across is how do you approach a negotiation so that all parties involved are taken care of? Well, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Here's the first thing I want you to do. You have to determine what your role and your preferred outcome is from the negotiation. Be really clear in your mind on what you want to have happen and how you want it to have happen. That's the first step to getting ready for a negotiation. The second step is to put yourself in the position of the other party or parties and decide from their point of view, what do they want to have happen and what is their best case scenario. Once you know what you want and you know what they want, then you look at where those two stories overlap. In that area that intersects, there lies the preferred outcome of the negotiation. And in that intersection is where the only viable outcome can be. Now, I'm a big believer that there are only four Four outcomes to negotiation. Win-win, win-lose, lose-lose, and no outcome. Let's go through each of those so that you understand what they look like and what we're moving towards. Win-win is you and I are negotiating on something and you're happy with the suggested outcome and I'm happy with the suggested outcome. This is most easily accomplished when all parties involved look at the situation from their point of view and everyone else's point of view. And when you find that intersection that fits for both of you, that's a win-win. Win-lose, which is more of the traditional model of negotiating is there is a winner and there is a loser. The winner gets exactly what they want and the loser doesn't get what they want. Winner is happy, loser is unhappy, someone is the victor, someone is the victim. Business doesn't 
doesn't really support this model anymore, even though it happens on a regular basis. The third outcome is lose-lose. This is a worst case scenario for everyone involved. This party thinks that they're getting screwed over. This party thinks that they're getting screwed over. Both are unhappy, both do the transaction, and both bitch and moan about the other to everybody else. And the fourth outcome is no outcome. You're looking for the intersect. They're looking for the intersect. You just can't get there. You come to a point of impasse. And in that impasse is no outcome. Now, in order to negotiate properly in business, what I want you to do is to make the decision that you will not be involved in a win-lose or a lose-lose situation. You're either going to have a win-win or default to no outcome. What I like to do when I'm negotiating with people is be very clear that there are four outcomes from my point of view and the middle two are not acceptable. You and I are going to figure out a deal that makes sense for both of us and that we're happy about or we're simply not going to do anything. Often when you put it that way, it removes the option in their head that they're going to win and you're going to lose because they know you're watching for something that doesn't play well for you. As well, for people that are not comfortable negotiating, you're putting your cards on the table that you are going to work with them to come up with a win-win solution or you're simply not going to do a transaction. From negotiating a business deal to negotiating your rates to even negotiating the lease on a new truck, it all follows the same pattern. Looking at it from your point of view, looking at it from their point of view, finding the common ground and coming to an agreement on that common ground or simply not doing a transaction together. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new format, which we're going to play with for the next couple of weeks. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Feel free to share for anyone that you think might be having struggles with the process of negotiating. And remember, gladiators eat first and they always look for a win-win situation or they accept a no outcome and move on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.